Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. In this video, we will look at how to count buy sell color in Excel. Now, Excel does not have a function that can count the cells using its background color. So, we are going to have to use Excel VBA and create our own custom function, or sometimes known as a user defined function, to achieve this. So the example I'm going to use I've got on screen here, where I've got some different colored rows, or let's just say cells, because I'm going to use column A ultimately uh, to count. But I've got some different colored rows to which identify something. They've been colored for some reason, but what I need to do is count some of these cells by color. So I've got three different colors, and I've knocked up a little table over here on the right, so I can see how many yellows, how many greens, how many blues. Now, if I pop to the Developer tab at the top and click Visual Basic, or if you just pop to your Visual Basic editor in your usual way, if you're comfortable doing this, I have written a custom function already in here. And there is a link in the description of this video which will take you to this code so that you can just simply copy and paste it into a module of your Visual Basic editor. And proceed as I'm going to do in this video. Just a quick few things on it. So it creates the custom function by writing function at the start. Start of the function, end of the function. I have set up a couple of arguments. Both of them are range objects uh, in this count if color function. Now you can give it whatever name you want. That's what I've decided to call it. And it says that this is going to return a integer value. I've got three variables. And basically what goes on, uh, you know, in a nutshell, is that I have a variable called cell color. And the first thing it does is somebody uses this argument to specify that they're going to select the cell that contains the color they're searching for. And that will be assigned to that variable. It then goes through a little for each next loop, looping through all the cells in the range that the person has specified, which they do with the second argument. Uh, for each cell in that range, it tests it. it goes, are you the color we're looking for? If it is, it simply adds one onto a variable that is storing how many cells there are. And at the end, that number is assigned to the function and then ultimately returned into the cell. So just a reminder, there's a link in the description of this video so that you can get access to this code. So don't worry about writing it all out unless you wish to for uh, purposes of remembering it. I'm now going to close down that window. So I'll go back to Excel and let's see it in action. So in cell I3 here on the end, I can start my count if color function. And you can see it appears in a list just like any other function. However, when you put the opening bracket, you don't get the kind of little blue box with the arguments uh, like you normally do with functions. So there are some little differences if you're new to this. So you have to remember what it needs. The first thing it needs is the color we're searching for. So I'm going to click on that cell in question, which is this yellow one in this example. I'm going to put in a comma and then highlight the range that I want it to look within. And you can do this however way you wish. I'm just going to simply drag at this point. There's about 90 something rows, so it shouldn't be too difficult. I'm beginning to wish I didn't. Here we go. Back up. There were quicker ways I could have done that. And I'm going to use my F4 key to make that a absolute reference. Let's bring that in screen. Close bracket. I've told it the color to look for is H3. The range to look within is A2 to A92. Remember, it's going to loop through all the cells in that range, testing to see if that color's there, and ultimately returning the answer, which is apparently 6 for yellow. I can see 3 on my screen already. And I should be able to copy that down to get a result for the other two because of the way I was referencing cells in there. And that is my count if color custom function to achieve the job of counting cells by color. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel. Uh, check us out at computergaga.com for more fresh tips and tricks.